bottom of the first inning here is a look at the Colorado lineup that Zach Cranky will face today Charlie Blackman will leave things off and play right field batting second left fielder Connor Joe hitting third is Ryan McMahon the third baseman batting fourth first baseman C.J. Crone center fielder Sam Hilliard is batting fifth hitting sixth Garrett Hampson the second baseman batting seventh is the catcher Dom Nunez hitting eighth designated hitter Scott Schepler and batting ninth the shortstop Alan Trejo. Well you've got a couple of veterans battling to start this bottom of the first Zach Greinke 38 year old pitcher out of Orlando Florida and Charlie Blackman Jacoby Jones Edward Olivares and Ryan O'Hearn. Next pitch ground ball short looks like two Lopez to cancel on to first that's a twin killing six has that ability with that good two seam fastball and when he's able to locate it down and in like he did to a batter like Connor Joe there's not much he can do except hit it to the left side of the field and very intelligent person and knows the game so well but Brian kind of opened that door to Zach. Here's a fastball that's on the hands of Sam Hilliard and he tries to drop it into left center field but Olivares got a good jump from center races to left center field and makes the catch for out. That will bring Garrett Hampson to the plate for the rock An infielder that might have been a double or triple. Right handed hitting Cancel grounds it through the left side past the diving McMahon for an RBI base hit and the Royals take a one nothing lead. So Cancel not waiting around. He jumps on the first pitch one nothing here in the third inning a little bloop triple and uh, and then a base hit through the drawn in infield past the diving McMahon between short and third so Gabriel here right now he leads from first being held on by C.J. Crone three one pitch grounder through the right side a base hit and Cancel is not stopping at second he makes the turn goes to third throw is cut off and the Royals have him at the corners. A one out bloop triple turns into a run and now back to back singles for Dozier batting in the two hole today he's playing first base he had a comebacker to the pitcher block his first time Colorado is in their purple batting practice tops with a white these road games although it's a royal blue top it's the new look road alternate union there's a base hit through the hole on the left side a single and an RBI for Dozier that stops at second base so four consecutive base hits for the Royals now they're going to pinch run for Hunter Dozier with first and second and one out the batter will be Sal Perez and now a, a mound visit April 7th Zach Grinke back to work here in the third inning and the first pitch is to Shevler. He bounces it over the mound. The shortstop Lopez is on the right side of second. He charges in, makes the play, makes the throw for the out. Alan Trejo is their shortstop today. He is three out of 11 on the spring with a double. Two set the first time right handed. But the Royals' road alternate jerseys have changed this year. There's a breaking ball, fly ball toward the gap in right center. Can anybody get there? Yes, running it down. Olivares makes a good. Play out there in right center. He got a good jump and he ran it down. Two down in the inning. So they're alternates, which the second baseman, or sometimes now you'll see a third baseman out in shallow right field or out right in front of the right fielder. Bouncer over the mound, charging in. Nicky Lopez bobbles and he can't make a play. And so Blackman will be a two out base runner. Nicky was playing on the right side of second. He charged in in front of second base. And Blackman runs well, and Nicky was trying to hurry that play and just couldn't find the handle on the baseball with what the data says. But we've seen in this game at least, it's only a spring training game, a lot of straight up defense. There's a liner to center. It gets by the center fielder, Olivares, goes all the way to the fence. Blackman going to be waved around third. Here's a throw from the cutoff man home. He is safe. And so Blackman, after reaching on an error, scores on an RBI double by Connor. You know, to finish the conversation on the ship, I just think unless the pitcher can pitch to where the catcher is providing the target, well, the shift really makes no sense. And yeah. way to get to that one, big yard. 
Of course, we know the Rockies play in a very big yard in Denver. It's big here, too, and so plenty of room to roam. And running it down there, Oliveras, who made a couple of nice plays in center field in that inning. Colorado gets one of the runs back. We go, and that ball is gone. Oliveras <laughs> wasn't waiting around. He jumps on that first pitch and hits it onto the grass berm beyond the 345 sign in left field, and the Royals have their two run lead back. It's three to one. Edward with his first homer on the spring his third RBI his sixth hit of the spring as well in fact he's now six out of nine so a 667 back stadium another three o'clock start for you on the radio Kansas City time again 1660 fly ball the other way Jones back Jones looking up and that's not coming back it's an opposite field home run for Sam Hilliard and with one swing Colorado ties this game 3 3 the leadoff walk and then the opposite field home run and the game is 3 3 now. It was a fastball that was straight up defensively. And there is a little inside out swing and a liner off the glove it can't sell. It dribbles over toward the right field line. It'll be a base hit. Cancel almost may end off his glove and a base hit. And now Sal with a mound visit. He's still in the game. We wondered how long Salvi would stay in the game after Zach left since Salvi for many, many decades. One and two in the pitch. Swing, fly ball to center. Olivar is going back, still going. Can he get there? Looks up. It's going to be off the base of the wall. Here comes Hampson around third. He will score and into second with a go ahead RBI double. The Rockies lead 4 3. That ball barely stayed in the yard. Olivares got a good jump, but just could not. Looks like he's going to make a change right here as Vizcaino has given up the lead. The Royals were leading 3 to 1 coming into this bottom of the fourth inning. They now trail 4 3. Matheny comes up from a roadies. This guy, you know, and the Royals will bring in the lefty Freeman. We'll be right back. When is a seat more than a seat? When it's two on, two out. With the game on the line. And now the 2 2. Breaking ball, ground ball to third, and under the glove of the third baseman who's coming to this game, Holder. Runner with two down. Michael Massey is now going to come up and bat. Yeah, he celebrated his 24th birthday yesterday. I had a chance to visit with his mom and dad during spring training. They came down. down the righty deals and a swing and a little looper into left center. That'll drop in for a base hit. Garcia round second. He'll go to third. And Michael Massey in his spring debut has a base hit. They're at the corners with two down. And keeps the pressure on the Rockies defense pitching staff. And you're talking about his family coming down from Illinois to uh, to see Michael in minor league camp recently. Uh, obviously, you don't want to stay in the Quad Cities forever. You want to keep moving up. Reviews from the Royals and the players and their families as the new high A ballpark. And Isbell will hit one sharply up the middle for an RBI base hit. Garcia scores. Two out Magic has the Royals back in front, five to four. Single by Garcia, single by Massey, RBI base hit by Isbell, and the Royals back in front. He was very patient first time up as he came on for Hunter Dozier in that fifth inning. On visit for this pitcher, Sheffield, who is the fifth Colorado pitcher on the day. Yeah, they think they've improved themselves a little bit, and a lot of people debut. Runner goes off first breaking ball is a called strike throw down and now the runner coming home from third is safe and steal a run here in the seventh inning as it's Massey coming home to score after Isbell had taken off Isbell stealing second Massey flying home and scoring the Royals sixth run they're up six to four he is involved with the minor leaguers and base running and outfield play but they want to be the best base running team in the game obviously the Royals never are going to lead the league in home runs with a big ballpark but if you can run the bases and if you can defend and you can pick 
Now the pitch. Melendez swings and bangs it to right. That ball's going to get down. Prado around third base. He's coming home. Seventh run. Well, MJ showing a little lightning in his bat as he turned on that pitch, and stolen base pays off as Prado scores easily from second base.